The right of preemption was brought to the Indian mainland by the Mughals. Thereafter, it ran down to the Indian judiciary in the British era. The basis of preemption in the Indian courts was based on equity, justice, and good conscience. In the 18th century, the mark of preemption found in the American judicial system. The sources of preemption were categorized as 1. Custom, 2. Personal law, 3. Contract law, and 4. Statutes. The concept of preemption has been well explained in the case of Govinda Dayal versus Inayatullah, where it is stated, it right of preemption is simple right of substitution entitling the preempted by mean of legal incident to which the sale itself was subject to stand in the shoe of the vendi in respect of the rights and obligations arising from the sale under which he has derived his title it is in effect as if in a sale deed the vendi's name was rubbed out and the preemptor's name was substituted in his place. Let us now understand this explanation in form of illustration. Say a property owned by Mr. A adjoining to the property of Mr. B and Mr. B wants to sell his property and sold it to Mr. C. Here A have the preemption right. So B should have offered Mr. A and if rejected then he could have sold the property to Mr. C. Here, Mr. A can file a suit for preemption for the enforcement of right. If A had the valid right, then court will substitute the position of C to A. So there are three parties in this suit. One, the vendor, that is Mr. B, Wendy, that is Mr. C, and the preemptor, that is Mr. A. The question is what set of people have the right of preemption? Generally, two set of people can raise the claim of preemption. One, the co-sharer. Two, owner of the adjoining property. Generally, in three types of properties where the right of preemption is applied. One, immobile property of the urban area. Two, immobile property of the rural area and three in the agricultural land but the right of preemption over the above three types of properties are also subject to conditions one preemption right cannot be entertained if it is transferred by way of gift lease will or in favor of walk off two right of preemption cannot be claimed against the immobile property owned by the work of trust or the government. The application of the right of preemption arises when the valid sale is complete. But in Mohammedan law, if the consideration is paid in full and the possession is transferred, then the application of preemption applies. But the Calcutta High Court hold a different view that the such sale have to be done by a registered instrument. Unless the registration is complete, the right of preemption does not arise. The preemptor loses his right under the various situation. One, if he waives his right or makes the unreasonable delay in claiming it or by the death of the preemptor or by release or by misjoinder. It is extremely a weak right, not favored by law, more particularly in case of urban immobile property. It is not the recurring right. It is characterized as clog of right. Preempted not only have to prove that he have a good right as Wendy, but he have to prove that he have a superior or greater right than that of the Wendy. It have to be construed strictly. After the 44th Constitutional Amendment 1978, the right to property have been converted from the fundamental right to the constitutional right. At every point, the court acknowledges that the preemption on the ground of customary rules is void. There are some famous cases in the Indian judicial system on right of preemption. 
1. Bishan Singh vs. Khajan Singh, Supreme Court, 1958. 2. Raghunath vs. Radha Mahan, Supreme Court, 2020. 3. Aud B. Singh vs. Gajadhar, Supreme Court, 1954. 4. Rajasthan Housing Board vs. Sharkari Shamiti Limited, 2015, Supreme Court. 5. Kishan Das Agarwal vs. Kanayalal, Supreme Court, 1996.